Hey everybody, today we're going to set up an FTP server on our network attached storage device. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So let's say you were working on a project at home and you go to the office but you forget to take the files with you. Or maybe you go to your mother's house and you have some pictures of the kids that you want to show her, but you didn't take your digital camera with you. Well, there's an easy way to get to your files that you have stored on your network storage device by setting up an FTP server on the network storage device itself. Now, this is a multi-part process. What we need to do is we need to create some users and set up the FTP on our NAS box. Then we need to open up some ports on our router. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a URL that'll make it a lot easier for you to get to your FTP without having to memorize your IP address. So the first thing that we need to do is set up our network attached storage device. So let's go ahead and do that. Log into your NAS and click the advanced tab at the top, which will take you to the users page. Enter a username and a password, then confirm the password and save your settings. Next, click the FTP server button to the left. Select the user you created from the drop-down menu, then browse to the folder you want them to have access to. Oh, by the way, be sure to change the permissions to read-write if you think you might upload files from another location. Increase the idle time to 10 minutes. Two just isn't enough. Note the port the FTP will use. Now save your settings. To start the FTP server, click the button at the bottom of the screen. Now that we have the FTP server running and the users created on our NAS box, now all we need to do is open up the ports on our router. Log into your router and click the advanced tab at the top. This will take you to the port forwarding page. To enable the rule, put a check mark in the box to the left. Select FTP from the application drop-down menu, then click the arrow button to the left. Now, select your network attached storage from the computer name drop-down menu, then click the arrow button to the left to fill in the blank field. You'll see that now all of the ports and protocols are filled in automatically for you. All you need to do now is save your settings. Now that our NAS and our router are configured, we could connect to our FTP server. But what we want to do is create a URL to make it easier to find our FTP server. We can do that by using a system called Dynamic DNS. From your router's web GUI, you're going to want to select the Tools tab at the top, then the Dynamic DNS button to the left. On this page, you'll find a hyperlink that will take you to D-Link's free Dynamic DNS service. Click this to create an account. Once the D-Link Dynamic DNS web page is loaded, you can create an account by pressing on the Start button. Once you've finished creating your account, you're going to want to log into the service. On the next page, you're just going to want to click the Add Host link. Now, you're going to want to create a name for your FTP. Just make it something simple that's easy to remember. Next, copy the IP address that you see currently into the empty field. Now. Go back to your router's dynamic DNS page and enter in the account information and the FTP URL that you created. Once you're done, click the test button at the bottom of the page. If you see that it works correctly, just save your settings. You can test that your FTP is working properly by typing in FTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the URL that you created. Now that we have the FTP server on our NAS turned on, we have the ports open on our router, and we've created a URL, we can easily get to any of the files that are stored on our network attached storage device. So that's gonna do it for this week. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.